Hello and welcome to Brian's Got Game. I am Brian, and today I got a game called Nevermore. Nevermore is a 3 to 6 player card drafting game published by Smirk and Dagger, in which players are trying to be the first to 6 points. In this game, everyone starts with 5 health. The interesting thing is, when a player loses all their health, they are not out of the game. Instead, they become a raven. Ravens have unique abilities. They can do damage fast. However, they cannot win the game as a raven. They must collect the right cards to transform back into a human for a chance to win. So, let's check it out, and I'll show you how to draft the right cards. Avoid the gently rapping at your chamber door, and be the first to six points in Nevermore. To set up, you place the four resolution tokens and the conspiracy of ravens and the Sol skulking ravens at the center of the table. In this exact order. Conspiracy of Ravens, Attack, Healing, Radiance, Victory, and Skulking Ravens. This is the order the game will happen from Conspiracy to Skulking. Please notice that we're using promotional items in this review. The game really comes with the same thing, only they're, these are cardboard and these are plastic. We're using the promotional items. Then you place the turn marker in the center, the turn marker in the center on the left side. Then you put the victory points in the center. Next, you place the health tokens with the health, the health tokens with the health blocks on them. And then you deal one shadow magic to each player. Then you put the shadow magic there, light magic there, and the deck here. You are now ready to begin. And then you deal five cards to each player. These are the cards that you will be playing with. This is a card drafting game, so we will be drafting these cards. Each player starts with five, chooses two, and passes the rest in the direction of, of the turn marker. Each player looks at their cards, chooses two that they want, and passes the rest on. And then, when the next, these, the cards that they picked are set. So when the next person chooses the cards, they choose one, then pass the rest on. So you pass two, then you pass one, then you pass one, then you pass one, then you're done. Then you're stuck with the cards you have. The drafting phase is now over. Each player should have five cards. Now we begin the resolution phase. The dealer asks if anybody has five ravens. Nobody has five ravens. Attacks. So, whenever you're doing a resolution phase, everybody can fake. Everybody can fake if they want. They can, this person actually has attacks, but they can put down a few extra if they want to scare people. And they have to use the cards on its area. So in attacking, each player puts down how many they have or fake and then reveal. He had two and he had four. Then, the player with the most subtracts the player with the second most from his, and that determines the amount of damage he deals to any person of his choice. So two, subtracts two, discarded. He deals two damage to anybody he deals. He deal two damage, goes to the center, and then that is discarded. Then you move on. Healing, you increase your health points. Radiance, you get light magic cards. And victory points, you get victory points. And then at the end, if you have any ravens, you reveal your how many ravens you have. And depending on the amount of ravens you have at the end, you get a shadow magic card. Let's talk about ra ravens. If you're stuck with one raven in your hand, 
So if he had his five card, four cards plus a raven, when he plays, he'd have to kill a card using the raven. So he'd put down all of his cards and reveal. That's killed, so technically he only has one instead of two or three. If you have two ravens, then both ravens have to kill a card. But if you have three ravens, then two of your ravens kill cards. And then you have one left at Skulking Ravens. You get a Shadow Magic. So if you have three or four ravens, you get one or two Shadow Magic cards. But if you have five ravens, when the person calls for five ravens, you say that you do, show your hand, you deal one damage to everybody, get, get a Shadow Magic card, one, and get a victory point. And the round ends. Now the turn is over. When the turn is over, the player to the left becomes the dealer, and they deal five cards. Also, this flips over, becomes right. Everybody keeps their magics, the health stays the same, victory points stays the same. Then, the four in the middle, the resolution tokens, not the conspiracy with the Skull King. You shuffle them randomly, and then you place them on there upside down. Now, you don't know in what order or when to play your ravens. Let's talk about magic. Light magic is usually used to help you. Extra cards for your hand. If no opponent shows a pair or better, get a victory point and a light magic. Draw a card. Gain two health. They're usually used to help you. Shadow magic is usually used to backstab your neighbors. Play when an opponent is damaged for two or more. Instead of damage, their victory points are reduced the same amount. Play before the resolution. No player may gain victory points by any means. And so on. Some cards, not all, have ravens at the bottom. Light magic and shadow magic cards both. And they have different effects. Non-raven non players may only use the... Not, they cannot use the raven. And the raven players cannot use the human. To become a raven, you lose all of your health. You flip it over and you are a raven. To turn back, during the drafting phase, you have to collect either a set of every card, which you reveal at the beginning, like at the Conspiracy of Ravens, you show, and then you turn back into a human, you get four life back, and then the play continues. So that means you'll kill one. Or, also, you can collect five of a kind. So if you collect five victory cards, Conspiracy of Ravens, you show your cards, and then you're a human. Get your four health, like continues. As a raven, you can't attack, heal, or get victory points. You can't attack like normal, you can't heal because you have no health points, and you can't gain victory points because you are a raven. You may still get the most of Radiance, you get a light magic. Ravens are like normal when you're a raven. However, if you get the most of any of these three, attack, heal, or victory, then you peck the second most if there's a tie for one damage. If there's a tie for second most, then both of them or all of them get one damage. If, as a raven, you kill another player while pecking, and they turn into a raven, then you get a victory point. So if this person, before they turned into a raven, had two, and then they killed this guy by pecking, they get another victory point. But they still can't win. But if he turns back into a human, he gets his victory points back in four health. Play continues until one player has six victory points, or all but one human players have turned into ravens, and then the last human player wins. Okay, got my dad here for a parent's opinion. So, 
What do you think of Nevermore? I really like Nevermore. Um, card drafting is probably my favorite game mechanic. Uh, so when I saw that, uh, I instantly liked it. Uh, it has a wonderful theme. Um, I really like the theme. Uh, it has a little bit of take that. At first, I was worried playing with the younger kids. They don't generally take that type of games. They're not their favorite. Um, but I think the fact that you don't actually lose and stop playing when you lose all your health, you get to keep going, uh, helps with that. Uh, I still wouldn't play it with real little kids, but um, <clears throat> uh, for me, I, I, with the card drafting and, and, and you don't actually go out, uh, plus the components and the theme, uh, this is probably one of my favorite games right now. Yeah, definitely. The components are really nice. The cardboard's thick. The wood blocks. The cards. Yeah, the cards have a nice uh, linen finish on them. Got, You've got cubes. Um, and, and yeah, the, the chipboard that's nice and thick and, and, and durable. Um, and you did mention that you like the, uh, the promo items that we got at Gen Con. Um, those are nice and sturdy. I, I don't know what they're made of, clay or, or something. It's real heavy. Um, but we, we really like those as well. The artwork's really good. I love the artwork. The ravens, the health, the tokens, the the top of the cards, the cards. The, it's just wonderful. I love the artwork. Yeah, they did a really good job on the artwork. Uh, the you know the, the cards themselves just pop. Um, it's really easy to, to distinguish between the suits. Um, and yeah, the, the, the logo there where it has, you know, the raven that's kind of got like a human eye in there. That, that, that's really neat to, you know, signifying that you are human turning into the raven. Um, so yeah, A plus on artwork. The gameplay is easy. You draft the cards, which is probably going to be the hardest part, or playing your ravens. So drafting, playing your ravens. Flipping the, th flipping the turn token, drawing, uh, dealing the cards, getting the light magic, playing them. Yeah, the gameplay is super easy. I mean, you're just drafting your cards. Uh, there's a lot of strategy when it comes to when to play your ravens and when to decide if you're going to collect the ravens and try to get five. Um, it has happened in the games that we've played, um, but it is rare. Um, <clears throat> the When to use your magic cards also, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, strategy into when to do that. They they typically say when you can use them if it's in the drafting phase or the resolution, resolution phase. phase. Um, but I did or find when... that the more magic cards you had, the more people sat there and thought and deliberated and when you know when should I play this? And so it kind of made the game uh, longer uh, because of the you know having too many magic cards. Um, but yeah, there, I mean, there's still a lot of choices, and and I think that it also depends on how many players you have. So if you have the three player game, which is the minimum. You'll be you, seeing your cards again. Well, you see one card, so you pa you keep two and you pass the three. And by the time it gets back to you, you're one of those cards you can don't choose. But you will know that you will see one of those again. So that might take into account uh, some of your strategy. But if once you add four or more, then you're getting cards from the other players and you have no idea what you're getting. So, so that makes it a little bit interesting, too. Yeah. The strategy, like the playing the cards, the who to, who to attack, is usually the person with the most points. Yeah, and that, that always happens in all the games. Uh, you know, people gang up, especially on those take that type games. They gang up on the person who looks like they're going to win. Uh, but in this game, when you become the Raven, you can you can do damage quick. Uh, in, in, normally, for the humans, they can only do damage on attack cards. But Ravens have three opportunities to do damage, um, and they're not going to do damage on every suit every time. Cause you can't have the majority uh, with only five cards. Um, but they can do they can do a lot of damage if nobody plays a suit. Everybody gets pecked. Yeah, everybody gets pecked. And, and you, you know, when you only have five health, that can be pretty brutal. Pretty easy for kids. Like I, like you said, super easy. You deal damage, you flip the turn, turn into a raven, which is really good because you don't die. Yeah, it's easy enough for families to play. Again, I wouldn't play with the littler ones. The little there's, ones. there's a lot of decisions to be made. Um, so I don't know, you're, you know, your age and, and above, probably 10 and above. Um, but I think the teenagers could Maybe definitely nine. get into it. Um, it's got a cool theme. Um, we, you know, we read Edgar Allan Poe's poem before we played uh, and got us in the mood. Um, so again, it, it's something that I think that you can definitely get into with, uh, you know, with your with your teenagers. Overall, I really like this game. The components are really nice, thick, durable, linen. The artwork is wonderful. Love it. The gameplay, it's pretty easy. There's a bit of strategy in there. It's really easy for the older ones kids and i just really like nevermore yeah overall for me too this is probably one of my favorite games right now um it, it, it takes at least three to play so it's been a little bit harder for us to play because normally we play a lot of two-player games 
Um, but we took it to a couple of game nights and were able to get uh, get a good game. We played with uh, five. five players, which it did uh, take a long time to play with five players. But uh, I was teaching it. So, um, but but overall, like Brian said, you know, all of those uh, you know components, artwork, strategy, all of those things uh, scored really high for us. And Nevermore uh, is definitely going to stay on our shelves. Thank you for watching Brian's Got Game. Please like our Facebook page. Please tweet us at Brian's Got Game. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian. This is my dad. See you next time.